Hello, today we will talk about bone mineral density test. What is bone mineral density test? Why is it done? How is it done? About this, some basic information I shall give you. What is bone mineral density test? This is a non-invasive test which is used to assess the amount of minerals in a given bone. This test uses X-rays to determine the amount of calcium and other minerals in a given segment of bone. There are many ways in which this test can be done but the most common way is DEXA scan. DEXA scan is a non-invasive test and the procedure is known as dual energy X-ray absorptiometry. Why is this test done? This test is done to know about any decrease in bone density, to diagnose and monitor the treatment of diseases like osteoporosis and to determine the susceptibility of a patient to fractures. How is this test done? This is a non-invasive test and is done with the help of x-rays. The patient is asked to remove clothing or other metal objects which might be covering the part to be scanned. Is there any special instruction that is given before the test? This test usually does not require any special instruction. However, if the patient has done a CT or MRI with contrast a few days back, then the patient should inform the doctor about it. The contrast can cause difficulty in interpretation of the result and sometimes the test may need to be deferred for a few days. How are the results interpreted? The results are given as two scores namely T score and Z score. T score compares the bone density of the patient with a normal standard. The values of minus 1 and above T score are considered as normal. T score values between minus 1 and 2.5 indicate presence of osteopenia in the patient. T score values less than minus 2.5 indicate presence of osteoporosis in the patient. Z score on the other hand gives the number of standard deviations above or below the normal for the bone density of the patient. What are risk factors for developing osteoporosis? Postmenopausal women have a risk of developing osteoporosis because there is successive decrease in estrogen. Also, in certain cancers for which anti-estrogen therapy or decreased testosterone levels are required, such cases also can develop osteoporosis. In transplant patients, certain medicines are given to prevent rejection. These medicines as a side effect can result in decreased bone density. Patients who use excessive steroids for bodybuilding etc. are also at a risk of developing osteoporosis.